I cannot deal with it. This is just too much. Around the world, it's been a deadly hot summer. This Madrid man says the heat is unbearable. He's worried it'll get worse. To help people be better prepared, a new international project is experimenting with naming heat waves. These heat waves aren't going away, and so we're trying to do something innovative and different. Last month, heat wave Zoe saw temperatures climb above 43 degrees Celsius in Seville, Spain. Heat is an invisible challenge for most people. The project is getting mixed reviews. I think there's a lot that Canada will be able to learn from the experience of California or, you know, Seville and Athens, other places that are going ahead with these ranking and naming uh, pilot projects. She says raising awareness about a heat wave won't ensure people actually have a cool place to go, but she's intrigued. Others are more quick to dismiss the initiative. I don't really see any benefit or advantage to it. Um, and if we were going to do it, I would favor not a city doing it, not even a national meteorological service. I would say that the World Meteorological Organization, which is in charge with uh, naming uh, tropical storms, um, let them weigh in on it. That UN agency did weigh in. A lot of our experts, I have to be quite honest, are still not convinced that this is doable. He says what works for a hurricane doesn't necessarily work for heat and warns of confusion if cities don't agree on names. If we get into this issue of naming and then if there's a different name, either it's, it's Tom in Montreal and Alice in, in, in Toronto and people are traveling, it's, it's, we think that the communication there would be a detriment to civil protection. Those behind the pilot project say they're aware of concerns, but will wait until the end of the summer to evaluate the impact of their project. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.